gonna walk home, babe.
Amen. Praise God this morning. Good morning to the Christian Church of Chester family. Let's give each other a round of applause for making it through this week. It's been a challenging week for each and every one of us. Amen. Once again, praise God for bringing us here another day, Lord God. So therefore, if you haven't gotten a chance yet, right now is your good opportune time to greet each other in the chat. Make sure you take advantage of the chat. Be a little interactive with the services today, Lord God. Because I'll tell you one thing. Our pastor got an amazing me message lesson set up for us today that would guide us throughout this oncoming week. And I just want to thank you all for being here, worshiping with us during this live stream experience. And things can only get better from here. Amen? Amen. So therefore, I'm going to start with the prayer, and then we're going to have the scripture by Deacon Benji. Lord and Heavenly Father, I simply want to say thank you. Thank you once again for blessing us to make it through another week, Lord God. Giving us another opportunity to praise your name, Lord God. Throughout all the challenges that's going on in the world, Lord God, we are so thankful to give you the glory, the honor, and praise today and forevermore, Lord God. And we understand that with you, you would guide us throughout each and every second, each and every moment, each and every possible situation, Lord God, to get us through to this day, Lord God. Thank God for Sundays, Lord God, because a lot of us look forward to this moment. And we're going to give you all the glory, honor, and praise. Lord God, we ask you to bless this worship experience. Lord God, bless the man that is providing the word for us this morning. Lord God, bless all those individuals that are that are here worshiping with us through this live stream experience, Lord God. Lord God, you know what we're definitely in need of, Lord God. And because that we're at this particular moment, we're going to continue to praise your name. Lord God, we love you, we honor you, we cherish you, and we're going to give you everything that you instilled upon to us, Lord God. Lord God, we ask you to bless our family, our friends and family that's at home watching us, Lord God. We ask you to take care of their families as well, take care of their household, and continue to be a beacon, so therefore we can use their homes as well as a congregation, use their home as a sanctuary, use their home as a safe haven, Lord God, because you provided everything for us. Lord God, we thank you. Bless our service. Bless the United States of America, Lord God. Amen. Good morning, Christian Church of Chester. Our scripture this morning comes from the book of Psalms, Psalms 46, and it starts off by saying, God is our refuge yes. and strength and a present help in trouble. Therefore, will not we fear, though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea? Though the waters therefore roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, Selah, there is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, and she shall be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. The, he the heathen raised, the king kingdoms were removed. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge, Selah. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolations have he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease until the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear and set in sunder. Uh -huh. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Amen. Be still yes. and know that I am God. I am God. Be still yes. and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord is the host with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge, Selah. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading Amen. and hearing of his word. Amen. Amen.
Good morning, Christian Church of Chester. It is indeed another day that we thank the God that he has given us this opportunity to come before you. Church is prayer time. All right. Let us all pray. Pray, David. Father God, we just come to say thank you. Thank you. And oh Lord, you've been everything to us. First, I want to thank you for all you've done for us. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you, Lord. Thank you. Because we're able to stand up right now. Thank you because when we woke up, and saw the bright sunshine. Say thank you, Lord, for your guardian angels that watched over us all last night as we slumbered and slept. Mm -hmm. And oh, Lord, all right. you made a way for us. Thank you because we can see with our own two eyes. Lord, we thank you, God, because we have the ability to hear from our own ears. And thank you, Lord, because we're able to breathe in and out. Thank you, God, because we're not on a respirator this morning. Thank you, God. All right now. Somebody ought to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you because as we look back uh, thank you. over thank you. our lives, we can count the mountains that you pulled us over. Thank you, Lord, because you can count the valleys that you brought us through. All right now. Thank you, Lord, Thank you. because we have some situations going on in our country. And oh, Lord, you've been watching over us as the coronavirus sweep through the streets and through our country. And then, Lord, uh, you watched over us as trouble continues to grow uh, in our land. People are dying uh, for no reason at all. all right, now. Lord, we thank you, God, that you watched over our family. Thank you. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you look over those that have authority over us. Give them a right mind, Lord, uh, to make the right decisions. Lord, it's not always necessary to shoot to kill, but because of that demon spirit. Lord, oh Lord, uh, come on us right now. Right. Look on the citizens of our world. Right, Look on the citizens of our country. Yes. Look on the citizens of the United States. Yes. Yes. Look on the citizens of Pennsylvania. Look on the citizens of Chester, PA. Look on all the citizens of this world. Lord, we pray that you might look on the churches that are open in your name right now. Lord, then we pray, Lord, that we pray for our pastor and first lady. All right now. Speak to him, Lord. We need to hear from you. Hallelujah. Satan is walking around all broad-chested, thinking that he can change our minds. But Lord, you've been so good to me and uh, Lord, we made a way and we'll never look back. I just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Lord, come on in the room right now. Come on in the homes of the Christian Church's Chester family. Set them up on Holy Ghost fire. Let them know that you're covered by your blood. For it's the blood of Jesus that cover us all night long. The blood, the blood, the blood. I plead the blood of Jesus over all everybody and every neighbor. Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to come before you. 
Thank you. Little Lord, bye and bye. Yes, sir. Bye and bye, and after a while, after a while. when praying day is over, we don't have to worry about a thing. Bye and bye, and after a while, when we can't meet no more at the Christian Church of Chester. Bye and bye, we don't have to worry about the coronavirus. We won't have to worry about number 45. We won't have to worry about anything that's going on. Lord, we'll be able to hear you say, well done, well done, well done. Well done. thy good and faithful servant. Yes, With all the things that happened in the world, you kept the faith, you kept on pushing. Now sit down and rest a little while. All right. Thank all you, right. dear God. Thank you. And all the people of God said amen. 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 And amen. Amen. amen.
I know the devil. I know he's an opposer. So he's not going to tell me the truth. So anytime the devil tells me I'm not something, I always say I am that. Anytime the devil tells me I am something, I always say I'm not that. Amen. Good morning once again, CCC. It's giving time. Will a man rob God, yet ye have robbed me? But ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offering. You are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there will be meat in my house. And prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts. If I will not open up the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be enough room to receive it. Now, church, there's four different ways we can give. Good morning, church. Good morning again, church. Uh, just want to wish all our members <clears throat> who have a birthday in this month of June, we just want to wish you a happy birthday. Amen. Happy birthday Amen. to you. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Amen. 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 And also, we'd just like to wish all of those who have a wedding anniversary in the month of June. Happy anniversary. Amen. Amen. Our pastor. Uh, yesterday was his anniversary for celebrating 50 years. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And I, I can't 
forget about my wife and I. On, All right. on Wednesday, All right. we celebrated 48 years. Yeah. 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 48 years of love. Amen. 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 And to all the graduates yes, yes. of 2020, we say congratulations to you. Yes. Amen. 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 In, in spite of what you had to endure this year, you still made it. We wish you Godspeed. If you can make it through this, you can make it through anything else. You have shown that you are a survivor. Congratulations. And may God continue to bless you in all that you endeavor to do. Amen. 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 This song was recorded by Rochelle Farrell around 1992. It's called Peace on Earth. We all know we need that right now. So listen to the lyrics and be blessed. at home How can we have understanding in the land when there's none in the woman and there's none in the man talk about it and too many walk without it tell me where is the love where is the God in your life to my left a woman abuses her children to my right somebody's beating their wife tell me where is the love where is the God in your life how can we If we cannot heal our home And where does this peace on earth begin If not in the home If 
not in the home. Good morning to the CCC family. God has blessed us one more week to yet be alive. We are thankful to all of you who are joining us uh, and we look forward to the day when we can meet again in this place. Met with the advisory council on yesterday and we decided on a tentative date, which I will not mention right now, otherwise you'll get excited. We decided uh, on what we need to do in the building before you come back in, and we decided what you need to do when you come back in the building. Amen. And we're going to encourage all of you to please uh, follow the directions that we give you when we come back in the building. It's going to be for your safety and for your health. And we just encourage all of you, when we open these doors again, rush on back because we know it's been a long, difficult road, but we're going to make it. I am convinced we are going to make it. Let's look at the Word of God uh, this morning. I'm going to read uh, three of the verses that Deacon Benji read. Psalms, the 46th number, verses one through three. God is our refuge mm -hmm. and strength, yes, he is. a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not, we will not fear, though the earth be removed, wow. and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. Uh -huh. This morning for a topic, Peace in the midst of a storm. Right. Come on, Peace, Peace in the midst of a storm. Right. And for those of you who are taking notes this morning, there are three things I want to share with you. First, God is our refuge yes. and strength, yes, a very present help in trouble. Second, therefore, we will not fear. Third, don't worry about the storms of life. Amen. This world today is in an awful condition. You can look on our continent or any of the other continents. Everybody's dealing with uh, pandemic problems. They're dealing with economic problems. Here in America, we're dealing with injustice. And pretty soon, we're just at the tip of the hurricane season. Amen. So we'll have another problem that we're going to have to deal with. Amen. But there's a way to have peace in the midst of a storm. And I believe today the first way is to recognize that God is our refuge. Amen. You see, anytime I've been in trouble and wanted to come in out of the rain, I've turned to God. He'll be a shelter for you if you'll just let him. God is our strength. When I am weak, then I'm strong. I'm reminded today of 2 Corinthians, the 12th chapter and the 10th verse. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, yes, sir. for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Mm -hmm. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distress for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. You can talk about me all you want to. When I am weak, then I am strong. Persecute me if you will. When I am weak, then I am strong. When I am needy and have things that it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to make my way, then I am strong. When the power of Christ rests upon me. We can get through the storms that we're in, but we need to know that God 
is our refuge. We can get through the storm yes, we that can. we're in, but we need to know it's not by our power. We're strong because of his power. Amen. And the thing I like about it, if I get in trouble and call some of you, if I call Holman, he may not get there in time. Yeah. If I call Deacon Benji, he may not get there in time. Uh -huh. If I call Rob Wally, he might have to eat dinner. But if I call <laughs> on Jesus, he's a very present help right. in the time of trouble. Anybody in here ever had troubles in your life? Oh, yeah. Who did you call on? Oh, yeah. I called on oh, Jesus. Oh, you see, the other day when uh, the young man was had somebody's knee on his neck, he called on mama. Oh, mama. I wished he had called on Jesus. Yeah. I don't know, it might not have changed the outcome, yeah. but it would just would have made me feel better yeah. to hear him call on yeah. Jesus yeah. because he would have been a pre very present help in the time of trouble. Yeah. God is our rock of ages. Yeah. Remember that song, Rock of Ages, yeah. Cleft for Me, Let Me Hide Myself in Thee? Mm -hmm. That was a song, a minister, a young minister in England. He was traveling about on foot and a torrential downpour came. Wow. And he went and there was an old cliff that had an overhang. Yeah. He hung out underneath that overhang until the storm passed. Wow. And that's where a rock of ages came from. Uh -huh. He knew who was his shelter. He knew where his protection would come from. He knew where his help would come from. God is a very present help in the time of trouble. Thank you, Lord. He's our help right now. Don't worry about what's going on in the world. Well, God will take care of this. Yes, he yes. Will. Some of you are fearful now. Of when you see a police car behind you, have no fear. Yes. Therefore, we will not fear because God is our refuge. He is our strength. He is our help in the time of trouble. The scripture said, though the rivers of life roar and be troubled, though the mountains uh, shake, God is there with us. All the, time. all the time. The psalmist said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Right. Whom shall I fear? Yeah. I, I, I can't get afraid of a policeman because God is my light and my salvation. I don't have time to be afraid. Yeah. Time's running out. And I'm so glad the young people out there today, they aren't afraid. They're marching, protesting, and they're standing right in the face of danger because I believe some of them grew up in homes that knew that God is their help and they have no fear. Amen. Don't worry about the storms of life uh -huh. mm -hmm. because I know a storm calmer. Mm. I know one that can calm the storms of life. Yes, I, I know somebody, Benji, that can make the winds and the waves lay down and obey his will. I, I remember reading somewhere in Mark, I believe it was Mark the fourth chapter, verses 35 through 41, Jesus and the disciples were out on the sea and Jesus decided to go back and lay his head on a pillow. And at the time he did that, a storm arose. Yeah. Uh, Annette will tell you, I can sleep through a storm. <laughs> that, 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 uh, when, when I used to have a storm of bills piled so high yeah. and money piled so low, I'd go up and go to sleep. She was wondering, how can you sleep through this storm of bills with these phone calls coming? I'd say, well, I need to get my sleep. There's no point in God and me staying awake all day and all night. That's God's job. I'm going to get my rest now. I know somebody that can calm the storm. The waves begin to fill the ship with water. The disciples tried just like we tried. Tried to do everything on their own. But finally when they thought they were going to perish, I don't know why we wait till we think we're going to perish to come to Jesus. We ought to come to him when everything is going all right. Then he'll know who you are. You see, I talk to him night and day. And I called him up. I said, this is Eddie. He, he don't have to wonder who it is. He said, this is Eddie. I said, this is Eddie. He knows who it is. He said, little Eddie Lindley boy from Hempstead, Texas, from way down there at the river bottom. He knows which Eddie. He's not going to get confused. But I call him up day and night. But the disciples waited until they were at their point of distress to call on Jesus. Somebody went and tapped him and woke him up and said, don't you care? that we perish? Uh -huh. Don't you care that we perish? And Jesus got up, looked the situation over, 
and simply said three little words. Yeah. Peace. 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 Be still. Peace. If we want peace in America, we need to call on Jesus. On. Get him on board yeah. in our lives yeah. and let him step on board this troubling situation and say, peace, peace. peace. be still. Yeah. And the races will lay down. Say, yeah. peace, be still. The white supremacists will go back home. Yeah. Let oh. Jesus say, peace, peace. peace. be still. Peace. Yeah. He's that same Jesus today that he was way yes, back he then. Yes, he is. We ought to call on him. Call on him. Call on it. Yes, sir. Don't fear the storm. Jesus will give you peace in the middle of a storm. Amen. Amen. Let us bow our head in a moment of prayer. Yes, sir. Heavenly Father, we thank you for these few words that you have given us today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We pray, God, that you would bless and keep us throughout this day. Now we're praying for somebody out there that might be watching that has not accepted you as their savior. Someone that accepted you but they went away for a while and would like to come back. Somebody that's looking for a church home. Help them to make the decision today. This we ask in Jesus' name, amen. amen. The first appeal is for those folk who have never accepted Jesus Christ as their savior. You've heard about him, you know about him, but you struggle with believing that he is the Son of God. You struggle with believing that he was born of a virgin. You struggle with believing that he actually hung on a cross. You struggle with believing that he was placed in a borrowed tomb. You struggle with believing that he arose again on the third day. You struggle with believing that he now sits on the right hand of God. But you ought to make up your mind today. Amen. Jesus is real. Amen. And accept him as your Savior. For those of you who have tried it your own way for a while and would like to uh, come back home, we'll welcome you with open arms. Come on back home. And then there may be someone today looking for a church home. We invite you to the Christian Church of Chester. Why don't you come? Make up your mind right now. We are not a perfect church. I am not a perfect pastor. We do not have perfect deacons. Uh, it might surprise you, but our choir members aren't perfect. It might surprise you, but our members aren't perfect. Amen. So you'll be in good company because you're not perfect either. So we're welcoming you to this church family right now. I'm going to close this with a prayer again while you make up your mind. Heavenly Father, the word has gone forth and there are those who are making up their mind right now, even as I pray. We pray, God, that you would just protect them and help them to make the right decision. Make Jesus their choice because he can give them peace in the middle of a storm. Yes, in this world that we're in, we're going through many storms, pandemic storms, economic storms, injustice storms, hurricane storms, but we know that Jesus can fix it and give us peace in the middle of a storm. Somebody's looking to come back home. Let them have the will to do that today. And somebody else is looking for a church home, we invite them right now to the Christian Church of Chester. Bless and keep them now is our prayer in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Before we have our closing song, I would like to encourage all of you under the sound of my voice, and you can go tell this to your neighbor, your children, your grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. Do not take coronavirus lightly. I don't care what they say about open this up and open that up and do this, do that, and it won't really hurt you. Do not take it lightly. It is affecting our neighborhoods more than it's affecting any other neighborhood in America. Perhaps maybe the Native Americans are having a more difficult time, but in our neighborhood, it's really impacting us. Do not think this thing is over. We are still on the front end of it. We don't even have a vaccine for it yet. So that we want you to take all precautions. I move about and I see people not wearing masks now and I see them out there talking with each other and a hugging and a kissing. Uh, please don't do that. I'm just gonna encourage you, continue to take every precaution. And finally, we'd like to thank for all the those that wish Annette and I a happy anniversary. Uh, I, I think that uh, lady deserves a halo 
for putting up with me for 50 years. But uh, we made it, and I hope we make it 50 more. God is good. We're going to close now with our final selection. God bless you one. God bless you all.